Uh, Tommy, a very good finish. Did you know once that right uppercut had landed that it was all over? Yeah, of course. At the end of the day, I just needed to, um, you know, ease into it. I've been out a year. Um, like I said, it's been a year since the box, so I just needed to ease my way into it. But then when I found my way, I, uh, yeah, I started putting shots together and uh, I felt comfortable, yeah. It's tricky with you, Tom, and I'm going to say this. You're 21 years of age, you're hitting people on the chin, they're going down. Forget the, the opposition, that's natural. That's, you, you're working your way through. Yeah. You didn't have a lot of amateur experience. Yeah. I mean, you've got to get the experience in the gym, we, we know that, but it's, it's hard for you, it's a hard road for you in a bizarre way. Yeah, very hard road, you know. I've had uh, basically no amateur experience, um, and I'm just learning as I go. Um, but, uh, you know, experience is what I need, and so if you keep getting out, it'll just get better, won't it? But uh, sparring, sparring, but getting underneath the lights is a different thing. And I just need more of it, and that's the simple answer, really. He says he'd like to fight every couple of weeks, Frank, every three or four weeks, which would, which would suit everybody. But I'll put it to you, and, and, you know, you're 40 years in the business. You know, December the 1st, it's coming up to 40 years in the business. We know that. He's one of the trickiest guys to match because there's not that great amateur pedigree. He's a kid, he's 21 years of age, and he's hitting people with single punches and taking them out. Well, you know, it's very limited, limited amateur experience. Yeah. It means nothing. And obviously, and he also comes in with the fact that he's Tyson's brother. So it's a big, big weight on his shoulders. You know, his job is to go in there and do what he did tonight. My job is to ensure that the matches are made at the right time and he's not going to be rushed. Yeah, That's course. not going to happen. It's going to be done at the right time. If anyone wants to have a moan about it, it's all going to be down to me. It's down to nobody else. I'm the one who's going to be in the driving seat, making sure that those matches are made at the right time. And he's not going to be pushed. But he's got he's got a tremendous future ahead of him. There's no doubt about it. You know, you only got to look at him. He's training hard. He's, he wants it badly. And I think if he keeps doing what he's doing, he's going to get there. You mentioned there about if people want to moan about it, come to you, the buck stops with you, 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 you're the promoter. Was it easier 40 years ago to develop a young kid? Was it easier 30 years ago, even 20 years ago, to develop a young kid? There seems to be so much more scrutiny now. Well, I can't think of many fighters years ago who came, who come through with, you know, with no amateur experience or limited, very limited amateur experience. Most guys come through, especially prospects, you know, they had they had quite, that quite pedigree. limited. And, and also, as a professional, you had a lot of fights. You didn't just go and have, like nowadays, you can go and have eight or 10 fights and fight for a title. That didn't happen. Some of these guys never fought for a title for like 23, 25 fights. And I'm talking about southern areas and things like that. It was a long, it was a long, quite a long process. But, you know, times change and it's done in slightly in a different way now. But still at the end of the day, the only way you move forward in this business is having experience and learning. Talent gets you so far, but it's the experience, the dedication, that gets you over the line, gets you the whole way. And he's ready for that. Tommy, before I go, I'm going to ask you if there's anyone you want to say hello to, you can look straight down the camera lens. If there's anyone special in your life you might want to speak to, just look over there, Tom. Well, Mrs Molly May, what can I say? I wish she was here tonight, but you're not, but got the win. Thanks to everyone, Sugar Hill, Lyndon Newborn, Mick Carney, Tyson, my dad, everybody on my team, you know who you are. Thank you very much. And it's a long road, but we're going to get there.